Hi, this is Eli Hudson of Mach 1 Web Design. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can update your website, uh, update the text on your website, just uh, by using a couple free programs that you can download off the internet, and I'll show you where to download those from. So let's get started. There's uh, three uh, steps, three main steps in updating your website. And uh, here they are. The first thing that you need to do is to download the files from the server using uh, FTP. FTP is uh, File Transfer Protocol and uh, the FTP program that I recommend using is called FileZilla. It's a free program. The next thing uh, we're going to do after we get the files from the server and we have them on your computer that you're using right now, we're going to edit those files with a program that I like called Notepad++ and it's another free program and I'll also show you where to download that. The final step once we've edited the HTML files is to upload the files back to the server again using FileZilla. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to download the programs, uh, the free programs. So let's go to Google and we'll get FileZilla. So type download FileZilla the first link that comes up here is the one you want and click download now and the download will start automatically so uh, just tell it where to save it once you've uh, got it saved then uh, double click it to run and just follow the directions uh, very simple install now let's get uh, notepad plus plus another free program and uh, just click on the uh, the current version whatever it is at the time installer and uh, click save go ahead and save it and the same thing just uh, oops. double click it to run and go ahead and uh, and just follow all the prompts and get that installed all right, now I want to show you the uh, website that we're going to be editing. It's just a sample template that I, uh, I put on a sample website. At, uh, I put it at proflightdesign.com. And here's our template that we're going to be editing. So I'll just show you how to uh, edit the text. Uh, we'll edit this text up here at the top. Uh, right now it just says lorem ipsum delor. It's uh, Latin. Um, that's used as a placeholder on a lot of uh, template websites. So that's the text that we're going to be editing. So the first thing we need to do, the files are here on the server, but we need to get them onto our computer. So we've uh, installed FileZilla. Go ahead and run FileZilla. And we need to log in using the FTP. To log in, what we're going to do is put in our login credentials in this top bar right here where it says host. Uh, it's got username, password, and port. So let's go ahead and do that. Under host, you uh, typically type the name of your website. That's how it is on our uh, hosting platform. You can also, uh, in many cases, use the IP address of your server if you know that. Uh, and if you have a hosting account and you just registered your domain name, uh, the domain name might not work right away. It might take up to 24, sometimes 48 hours uh, before it works. So in some cases you might have to use the IP address uh, that you have with your hosting account. And username, uh, you'll have to get your username uh, from your, your host uh, or maybe it's in a welcome email that you got when you signed up. enter your password and then for port uh, on our uh, server you can just leave that blank otherwise uh, it actually says if you hover over it the default port is 21 so you can type 21 and that will also work uh, typically if uh, your server is configured differently then you have to uh, contact your host directly and get directions but 
uh, 21 is standard, so it's most likely that. All right, click on Quick Connect, and uh, FileZilla will log you into the server. So I must have uh, mistyped my password here. Try that again. Okay, we're in. Now, a little more about FileZilla here on the uh, lower half of the screen. On the left, these are files that are on your computer. The files on the right are files that are on the server that you're logged into at the time. On our hosting platform, the files that are visible on the internet, on uh, the World Wide Web, are located in this public underscore HTML folder. It might be different. Uh, it could be called uh, www or htdocs, um, depending on your server configuration. Uh, but I would say 80 or 90 percent of the time it's uh, public underscore HTML. And uh, in our, our setup here, the www uh, shortcut, it leads to the same place. These two, www and public HTML, are the same folder. I'll show you. We could actually go to it here by using the www. doesn't matter. So now what we can do is navigate on the left side to the folder that we want to uh, save these files into. But another way to do it, and how I typically do it, is just uh, I create the folder using Windows Explorer, not by using FileZilla. So I'm going to right click over here on the desktop, go to New, Folder, and uh, I'm going to give it a name. I'll just call it Website. All right, we've got the folder made. Now I'm going to highlight everything in this uh, uh, directory and drag it over here. And FileZilla will transfer all these files. All right, it's finished. So now I can open up this folder and see that we have the files here on our computer. So now to edit this file, I'm going to edit index.html. That's the default uh, file that will be opened. If you don't specify uh, a file name, so for instance, if I just go to proflightdesign.com, it will open index.html first. So that's the home page. So let's right click on that and then edit with Notepad++. And uh, if you use the default options when you installed Notepad++, that should be there. Now it's very important, uh, I should warn you, not to use uh, Microsoft Word. Uh, don't use WordPad. Um, to edit uh, HTML files because it, when you save it, it's going to add stuff in there. It's going to mess up the page. So I would recommend sticking with uh, Notepad++. You can also simply use Windows Notepad, uh, but I prefer um, Notepad++. It highlights uh, a lot of uh, the HTML tags and uh, it makes the text that you're going to change stand out in black. Uh, and that's very handy to know what you can change and what you can't change. We don't want to mess with any of the HTML, we just want to change the text. So, let's go ahead and edit the text like we said we're going to do. If we uh, go back to our um, page that we're going to update, you can see that the first uh, five words are in a dark blue and the rest is in white text. So now if we go to Notepad++, you can see that these first five words have an extra tag wrapped around them. It says strong, class equals blue, that's the HTML code that's making that dark blue. Uh, so if we want it to stay the same look, we're just going to leave that that way. But uh, let's go ahead and change the text. And uh, we'll just say, welcome to my website. 
and then let's change this line and say thank you for visiting. All right, so now we've got the text changed. Let's save it. Let's minimize that. Now let's uh, let's open it up and look at it. Okay, so here's our uh, page that we've opened back up to look at the changes we've made and you can see there it says welcome to my website thank you for visiting uh, we've changed the text uh, so that's been successful but now we only have the file on our computer and we want to put it back on the web server so that everyone can see it so to do that uh, we'll go back uh, to uh, we've got FileZilla and we've got our folders uh, and files on our uh, local computer and uh, so we just need to copy that index.html file back to the server. Uh, you can see that uh, FileZilla has logged us out, uh, or the server logged us out because of inactivity. Uh, but it doesn't matter. When we drag this file over, FileZilla is going to log us back in automatically. So let's go ahead and click this, hold the, hold the mouse, and drop it here. And it logged us back in, it transferred the file. Now here we are back in uh, Internet Explorer again, um, and let's go to the website and uh, see if that file transferred over successfully. And there it is, there's our change. Welcome to my website, thank you for visiting. And this time you can see we are actually at the website. This is coming from the server. So we've uh, successfully changed the text on this website. All right, we're about done. There's uh, one other thing I wanted to tell you, though. I wanted to talk a little bit about PHP files. Um, I have an example PHP file here. Um, PHP is a scripting language, a server-side uh, script language uh, that allows uh, a programmer to add more functionality to a web page. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, just to show you an example, I'll open it with Notepad++. And here's the file. Now, this uh, it looks very much like an HTML file, and in fact, it is. It's got a lot of the same stuff, um, the same tags. And uh, the difference is, when we have a less than sign, a question mark, and PHP, that denotes that uh, now uh, this page is going to be in the PHP language instead of HTML. Um, and if we scroll over here, uh, the question mark and the greater than sign means that uh, we're now stopping uh, the PHP language and we're going back to HTML. So there's HTML embedded here in this file. So you can change it the exact same way as you can change an HTML file. Uh, you just don't want to uh, change anything within the PHP tags. So if your website is made with PHP, then, then that's something to be aware of. One other thing to keep in mind with PHP files is that you will not be able to uh, normally open it up uh, while it's on your computer and see it. Uh, with the browser. You're going to have to upload it back to the server in order to see it. Um, that's because uh, the browser thinks that this page needs to be interpreted by the server before it displays it. Um, it, it wants to be able to run this PHP code here before it can display it. So it, a lot of times it will give you an error message um, and, and it won't open. So you're going to have to transfer it uh, with FileZilla to see it. Uh, so that's just one thing to keep in mind with PHP files. Okay, that's it. Uh, I hope uh, that you learned something. I hope that this was uh, helpful to you and will help you save some money uh, maintaining your website so that you don't have to hire a web designer every, uh, every single time that you need 
a little bit of text changed. And uh, thanks for watching.